Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving root? From here, we have square root of x. Then inside that, we also have square root of x. Then square root of x again. Then divided by also we have root x. Then inside that, root x again. Then equals to square root of then square root of 3. So we have two methods of solving this. The first method, let's square both sides. Here, when we square both sides, we have everything square. Then we square this side too. Then this square here will affect, you know, both the denominator and the numerator here. So we have, here we have square root of x, then square root of x, square root of x, then square here, divided by, then we have root x, root x, also square from here, then equals to, from here, this square we have fed the square root here, then we have 3 root 3, left there, so this square affect this square root, also this square affect this square root, then what we have left up here is x root x root x then divided by x root x from here then this is equals to 3 root 3 so here x we cancel out then we are left with square root of x then square root of x over root x which is equals to 3 root 3 from here. Then let's square both sides again. We square this side as well. Then this square here as well we affect both the numerator and denominator. So we have square root of x square root of x square. Then divided by root x square. Then equals to here, the square here we affect 3, that's 3 squared times root 3 squared. Then from here, this square cancel the square root, also cancel the square root here. We have x root x, then over x equals to here, 3 squared, that's 9. Then times square cancel square root, that's 3. Then from here, x here we cancel the x. Then we have root x to be equals to 3, then times 3 there, that's 27. Then, we can also square both sides again. Then when we square this side, we have square here, then also square here. So square cancel square root, we have x now equals to, here we can write 27 as 3 raised to power 3 from here, then which is raised to power 2. Then we have x now equals to this power multiplies and this gives us 3 raised to power 6. So we have x equals to 3 raised to power 6 here. Then using second method, from here we can separate this as square root of x times square root of then square root of x. That is the second f contains two roots, then times the last x contains three roots. We have this, then divided by also in the denominator the this contain the first we have root x, then the second contain two roots, then equals to square root of three, then root three inside as well. Then from here root x we cancel root x, then this we cancel this as well. We are left with square root of, then square root of, square root of x, 3 of it, equals to root 3, then root 3. So from here, here we can write this under, it will be x raised to power half, then also raised to power half, then also raised to power half. We have 3 of it. Because square root is raised to power half, 
which is equal to root 3 root 3 from here then here since this power multiplied we can write this as x raised to power 1 over h which is now equals to root 3 then root 3 so let's remove this 1 over h and raise both power to power h then raise this side as well to power h from here then this power since they multiply this and cancel out and we have only x left which is equal to here when we separate this as root 3 then times root then root 3 so raised to power 8 this power of 8 will affect these two numbers here and that is x equals to root 3 raised to power 8 then times root root 3 raised to power 8 then from here square root same thing as raised to power half so we have x equals to 3 raised to power half then raised to power 8 times here we have 3 raised to power 1 over 4 now then raised to power 8 since this power multiplies 2 here 1 2 here 4 then 4 here 1 4 here 2 we have 3 raised to power 4 now times 3 raised to power 2 and from the law of indices we can have the power and then x here will be equal to 3 raised to power 6 so also from the second method we have x equals to 3 raised to power 6 so whichever one you choose from there you can use it don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on see you next class and bye for now